Are you an Arch Linux user? If you are, chances are one of the big reasons you're on Arch or that Arch-based Linux distribution that you're on, like Manjaro or Arco or the hundreds of others out there that are based on Arch, one of the big selling points for being on that distro, of course, is the fact that you have access to all the packages in the AUR, the Arch User Repository. That is a community-driven repository that has all this content that was produced by Arch Linux users. So it's a community repository. And it, it's great because it gives you access to so many programs. A matter of fact, because of the AUR, Arch Linux may be the best distribution to be on if one of your primary concerns is software availability. Now, officially, the AUR is not recommended according to the Arch Linux documentation. They recommend that you don't install anything from the AUR because, again, it's community driven. All those packages that are put there, again, were created by members of the community. Those packages haven't been vetted in any way. So there is the potential that somebody could package something malicious, put it in the AUR, but I've, I've never encountered that in my years, you know, installing hundreds, maybe thousands of packages from the AUR. I've never heard of any other Arch Linux users that have installed an AUR package and it was malicious. But again, the possibility does exist. So officially, the Arch Linux documentation recommends you don't install anything from the AUR. But if you're running Arch, 99% of the users that run Arch are going to install AUR packages because, again, that's one of the reasons why we installed Arch in the first place is because we want access to the AUR. Now, if you are going to enable the AUR and install stuff from it, there's only one real official way to install packages from the AUR. You actually have to go and download the build file, the package build. And Arch Linux recommends you read the package build, you know, to see exactly what that package build is doing. Most people are not going to do that, but it's recommended you do. And then you run a, a program called Make Package, and you know it installs the AUR package for you. But there are some AUR helpers out there, and these are third-party programs that make installing packages from the AUR a little easier. Now. AUR helpers are not supported by Arch Linux. You won't get any support in the forums or anything. It's not the recommended way of installing packages from the AUR, but kind of like, you know, 99% of Arch users are going to install packages from the AUR, even though that's not recommended. Most of those people that install AUR packages are going to use an AUR helper. And one of the most popular ones is a program called Yay. So I'm going to bring up a terminal. And let's go ahead and install Yay. Now, the first thing you want to do to install Yay is if we're doing this the official way with the standard downloading the package build and then running make package, you need to have git installed on your system. If it's not already installed, you need to run the command sudo pacman space dash capital S git. And of course, give it your root password. I already have Git on my system, so I don't need to reinstall it. But once you have Git on your system, you need to Git clone this repository here. And we're going to clone that. And then CD into the yay directory. If we do an ls in that directory, you will see there is a package build in that directory. Then you need to run the standard command make pkg make package space dash si. Run that and it will install Yay for you. Now, I already have Yay installed, so I don't need to do this. If you happen to have another AUR helper installed on your system, you could also install Yay using the other AUR helper. Now that you have Yay installed, if you want official documentation on Yay, I would just take a look at the man page. So, man space Yay. And this is the manual for the Yay AUR helper. It's got a lot of flags that you can use. So I would spend some time taking a look at the documentation. But honestly, if you know Pac-Man, you probably know Yay because pretty much all the flags that you had available to you in Pac-Man are also available in Yay and they do the same thing. For example, earlier I tried to install Git. You remember Pac-Man space dash capital S Git? Yay space dash capital S Git. Runs the same command, you see. Uh, I get the same information. Do I want to 
reinstall git no i don't with yay you don't have to proceed yay with sudo the way you do pacman yay if it needs sudo privileges it will ask for it so you never have to type it in the command for example if i was building a aur package now git is not an aur package it would it was just going to pull that down from the standard repos but let me do a aur package so if i do yay space dash capital s space and then one of the aur packages i have installed on my system is a program called ddgr that is the duck duck go command line uh, search utility if i hit enter this is a aur package the first thing it's going to ask me is do i want to clean build this because i already have it installed i'm just going to decline that do i want to take a look at the diffs i, I don't want to read the diffs and there we go we just reinstalled duck duck go now it didn't ask for any sudo privileges at any point because i had already given uh, sudo privileges in the terminal earlier when i ran that git command but typically the last step it will do before it really installs the A AUR package, it will ask you for your root password. It's very similar like when you build something from source, when you do your configure, make, and then at the end, sudo make install. It's the same kind of thing in the AUR helper. When it's just building the package, it doesn't need a root password, but at the end when it's actually going to install the package on your system, then it has to have your root password and it will ask for it. Let me clear the screen here. To do a search in Yay is similar to Pac-Man. Again, most of these commands are going to be very similar. So to search for something, I would do Yay space dash capital S lowercase s. And then the name of whatever it is you want to search for. Maybe I want to search for Xmonad. And it's going to go out there and search for everything that has to do with Xmonad. Now, there are some AUR packages that are associated with Xmonad, or at least had Xmonad in their descriptions. And there's also some things in the official Arco Linux repository, because I'm running Arco, and some things in the community repository for Arch Linux. Now, another search command you could do is yay space dash capital S lowercase i, and then the name of the package, and you're going to get information, really specific information. For example, probably one of the things you would run this command really for is to get the dependencies. You see everything that Xmonad is dependent on. You know, I have to install the GHC, the Haskell compiler. I have to install some Haskell libraries, the Haskell programming language, uh, obviously SH, a shell has to be present on the system. And we also get some licensing information. You see it's licensed under the BSD license. So, but of course, most of the time, what you're going to use yay for is updating the system and installing packages to update the system. Yay space dash capital S lowercase y lowercase u. Similar how you do Pac-Man SYU yay SYU. And this will update all the packages on your system. And when I say all the packages, I mean it's going to update all the packages that you got from the standard repos. It will also update all the packages that are AUR packages. So this command is different than Pac-Man SYU. Pac-Man SYU is not going to update your AUR packages. Now because the AUR packages, a lot of those packages take a little longer to install because some of those packages have to compile you know you're building them from source maybe sometimes you don't want to update the AUR or you don't want to update your AUR packages as often as your standard packages what I would do is I would just update with Pac-Man Pac-Man SYU and then every now and then if you want to update those AUR packages you remember you know what I got about 15 20 AUR packages on my system I probably should update those you can do that with yay and you could specify just the AUR packages with yay space dash capital S U A hit enter and you see it says it's searching the AUR for updates and it's going to tell me all the AUR packages currently on my system that have an update now I'm just going to Control C to cancel that. Let me clear the screen here. Now, sometimes it's nice to have a list of packages that need to be updated. Maybe you want to print that list out. You can run the command yay space dash capital P and then lowercase u. And it will actually give me a list of packages that I could update. One of my favorite yay commands is this command right here yay space dash capital Y lowercase c. What this does is it will remove the unwanted dependencies on your system. 
So this is a good command to run, you know, every month, every couple of months to clean up your system. Because if you install as many programs as I install, I have a bunch of stuff installed on my machine because of doing the YouTube channel. I'm constantly installing new stuff to check out. And I get a lot of unneeded dependencies left on my system. And sometimes it's nice to get rid of those. And this command, you know, if I run it, I haven't ran it in a while, so I'm actually... Not surprised that there's several things here that I no longer need. And I'm going to decline that for now. The syntax for removing packages is similar to Pac-Man. So it would be yay space dash capital R for remove. And then the name of the program, for example, ddgr, if I wanted to remove that duckduckgo command line interface program. The better way to remove packages with both Pac-Man and Yay is to do dash capital R N S. And what this will do is it will remove the package and it will also remove the dependencies that are no longer needed for that package if it has any. And for DDGR, there are no dependencies. The only package it's going to remove is the DDGR package and it's a very small package and I don't want to remove it. I actually kind of like DDGR. So that's a, a, just a very quick look at yay. Yay is short for yet another Yawert. Yawert is a old AUR helper that's no longer supported. It's been discontinued and yay is kind of the successor to Yawert. And yay is great because it's fast. It seems as fast as doing anything in Pac-Man. The syntax is very similar to Pac-Man. So that really helps. You don't have to learn a whole new set of flags and options because if you know all the flags with Pac-Man, you know all the flags with Yay. Now before I go, I need to thank these people here. I need to thank Chris, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Lambda, Michael, Mitchell, Omri, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys, they're the producers of the show. Without these guys, this episode about the Yay AUR helper, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by all those other names you're seeing on the screen right now. I want to thank each and every one of those guys. If you'd like to support the channel, you'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.